Welcome to Comedy Sports. Tonight we will be having the teacher match, which is the reason I was here. And welcoming our ref, David Neal. and gentlemen. Yes, yes. All right, you know what to do. Welcome to Comedy Sports! <laughs> Thank you for cheering for my left arm as well. Give me goosebumps. Uh, all right, so ladies and gentlemen, this is Comedy Sports. This is comedy done as a sport. My name is David. Everybody go, how do you do, David? How do you do, David? Oh, well, yeah. So, Ladies and gentlemen, it's comedy done as a sport. Like any sport, there are a couple of fouls. The first one is the brown bag foul. Everyone put your hands in the air, but please care. Okay. This is the brown bag foul. Now, if anybody says something that's gross, something that's crude, something they put on FX just for the shock value, then you will be called on uh, the brown bag foul. Now, if I could, this is an adorable child. Would you, would you stand up with... Uh, her? <laughs> okay, great. Do not crush her innocence. Oh, thank you. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah. The mom's innocence, thank you. No, uh, so, if you say anything that will make her look at the world differently from now on, then you will be called on the brown bag foul. Uh, so, the brown bag foul can also be called on you, our audience. If you say anything gross or nasty, then I'll put a brown paper bag over your head for the duration of the scene. Now, I can't take a point away from your life, but I will put her in the bag with you and she'll cry. Uh, <laughs> and claw at you, I'm like a wolverine. So, now... Oh yeah, that's right! Look at me go! Okay, so now the second foul is the groaner foul. Go ahead, put your elbow to the Adam's apple of the guy, or hopefully not girl sitting next to you. Hopefully her. Her Adam's apple is not there. <laughs> this is the groaner foul! Very good. If any of our players say something that is so funny, so lame, so Tom Bergeron, that you groan in a... There's a... I always find who watches America's Funniest Videos in this audience. So, if, you, if that happens, and, then, and you groan in agony, they will have to apologize to you in this very box right here. If you yay it, do you apology, no harm, no foul. If you deny it, they will lose a point. Mr. Voice. Yes. Is dead. Yes. Oh, there he is. I'm so glad I would be nothing without you. You're the wind beneath my wings. I know. Yes. You're the water between my duck belly. <laughs> That's not as catchy, but... A little creepy. <laughs> and also creepy, yeah. So, Mr. Voice, do you have an example of a groaner foul? Yes. Right. What do you call a snail on a ship? Uh, I don't know. A snailer! Uh... Yes. Yes. So, if you groan like that, or this girl in the bow laughs her head off, then I will know that a groaner foul has just been committed. That's an adorable bow. You look like Minnie Mouse. Uh, uh, all right, what's, what? Snow White. Oh, Snow White. <laughs> oh, <laughs> sorry, you disagree with me. Oh, she doesn't, stupid. Snow White. Uh, which is great, Snow Mini. Uh, so, so now we figured that out. Uh, if you're growing like that, like you said, <coughs> yeah, you told you no, I'm not going to tonight, they will lose one point. Uh, now you guys are going to be the smart car that gets us from uh, here to Funnyland in less than 50 miles a gallon. Uh, I'm going to take that one out again. <laughs> That's no longer in my fresh field. But from this side, uh, you guys are side one. Over here, you guys are side purple. And then finally over here, you guys are side... <laughs> so, so from side one, can I get your favorite food? One, two, three. Yeah. Side blue, can I get your favorite movie? One, two, three. Yeah. And side two, yeah. can I get your favorite uh, uh, TV show? One, two, three. Yeah. Very, very nice. Now, ladies and gentlemen, when I say this following phrase, I want you to go ape. I want you to go planet of the apes. I want you to go rise of the planet of the apes. I want you to go return of the rise of the planet of the apes to search for Curly's gold. When I say this phrase, let's welcome our planner! Now, 
welcoming the teachers of Lucy McGill High School, Miss Rose! Oh, 
true, I mean, I knew that. But. <laughs>
Okay, okay, wonderful. Miss, would you give us a question? Uh, what ever get over that snake kills Oh, spoilers! Spoilers! Uh, uh, but will she get over uh, the fact that Snape kills Dumbledore? <laughs> I'm not feeling very talkative today, but straight to the point. Yes, you, my lady. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Uh, yes, and and what will uh, what it, she will maybe perhaps go to District Twelve. What will she do there, uh, Oracle?
sexy and you know it. That's true. That's, that's true. I am an American man, and I'm not afraid to admit that. Uh, I don't know why I would be. I'm an American. Uh, okay, so you saw four reverse over here. You saw flying line over here. Was it forward reverse?
being probably the first time you've all improvised. Uh, so, so <laughs> all right. So this is fantastic to see that kind of energy. Of course, your very own Wolverine. <laughs> Mr. Voice, please give us this half score. That makes teachers. Drum roll, please. That makes teachers 15 and students 22. Wow! Still anybody's game? All right, come on back. It'll be exactly the same except different. We'll see you after halftime. Welcome our second half teachers! Say hi to Mr. Wesley! Miss Croy! Mr. Forrester! And our captain, Mrs. Ray! to welcome the Liso students! Murdered at the same time. <laughs> but 
But uh, obviously, you've got the lungs of an elephant, I can tell. So go ahead and hit us, Captain Blue. What are you doing? For this! For this! I need the first two players on the board! Alright. First two players. Now, this game uh, is better if I show you an example. One player is going to start with an action. Just like that. Then the other player is going to ask. And then this player will respond with, other than playing a washboard on his chest. <laughs> He will reply with something else. And then this player will start driving. And then this player will ask, What are you doing? He will respond with something other than driving. And then this player will make a sound. So it'll go back and forth until one of several things happen. If they hesitate, they are.
future. So, all right, so this is time travel in general. All right, uh, we will initiate with you, teacher. Players, begin. What are you doing?
also a very, you're a very active stander. <laughs> I feel like I'm watching flash dance. <laughs> so, uh, for the final round, uh, okay.
That makes teachers 20, students 27, and Hannah 1! All right. Captain Blue! All right, go ahead. A round of applause. Listen, listen, don't, you don't have, yeah, you have been picked on and to do something to such a small creature. <laughs> I know, I know. I'd hug you, but legally I'm not allowed to. So, yeah, yeah. Uh, word up to my probation officer back there. So, uh, oh, yeah, you know him. Great. He went to the same, same uh, co gender prison. So, it's like a door. Oh, yeah, yeah. We, Oh, I said butter, uh, syrup, 
And then we have uh, Tape and Banana. All right, there's a hey, Blue Team. Goodbye, good and y'all.
Mr. Westling. Westling. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Everybody say goodbye, Mr. Westling. Uh, he told me his name was Kirk, if you guys didn't want to know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I told. Uh, okay. All right. So as he's leaving, perfect. All right. So they're figuring out where they're sitting right now. Lovely, lovely, lovely. So, uh, can I get uh, an object? Banana. If I hear banana again, <laughs> I'm going to eat my own head. Baseball bat! Baseball bat! Back there!
are they? Why? I would eliminate Sophie Sounds Beautiful. Oh, she is. <laughs> I would eliminate Bachelorette number one, and I believe she's the character casted for Sophie. That's true. Captain Kirk gives you a standing ovation. And then that means you're eliminating who next? Whom? Who? I can't remember which. <laughs> Whom? <laughs> Whatever, I'll do what I want. <laughs>
great we didn't have My Little Pony. I did not expect to cheer that day. Thunderous applause for your teacher! <laughs>